Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Malin Havefjell and in this video we will talk about the basics around the tax VAT, the value added tax and what is that. And I will talk around this if, regarding when you run a company in Sweden. Uh, usually I do these videos in Swedish but uh, since I know there are lots of you out there who would like to get this information in, in another language and I can perhaps talk a little bit in English so I will make these videos in English as well so you are able to understand all the different rules and uh, the tax system here in Sweden when you run a company here. So today in this video we will talk about the basics around the VAT. So it's very important to understand that this is a separate tax. We have the income tax and we have the value added tax. And what do I mean when I say it's a value added tax? Well, it is neither an income or a cost for your company. So this is pure administration for you, if, if I should be true to you. So this is something you do for your clients, for your customers. So neither income or a cost for your company. This is very important that you remember that. And one other thing that is really important to understand and remember regarding the VAT is that there are always exceptions. When you think you understand and know the rules, it might be an exception because there are different rules depending on what you're selling, who your customer is, and also where in the world are your customers or the thing you are selling, where, where is it, what is it. So very important to understand what you are selling and who your customer is because that can affect what rule to look at when uh, regarding the VAT. So neither an income or a cost, a cost for you because this is pure administration for you and there are always some exceptions when you think you know something it might be an exception there and we also need to understand that there are different tax rates uh, the main tax rate is 25 percent so if you're not sure what the tax rate is on the thing you are selling then it's probably 25 percent and then there are some exceptions there are 12 percent uh, for example for food that is 12% and there are also an exception with 6% and that, for example when you go to a theater uh, you you only pay 6% uh, tax for that one and there are also some exceptions where you don't pay this VAT this value added tax at all and that is for example to uh, when you go to hospital uh, you don't pay the value added tax on that uh, service so important, what am I selling and who is my customer? Two really, really important things to understand about the VAT and what rule to start looking at. So the VAT, now I said when you go to the theater or when you go to the hospital, what kind of tax are you paying then? I'm, I'm talking like this because the tax, do you remember, neither a cost or an income for you as a company owner or for you when you sell something but because this is a consumption tax it is the customer the one who are using the product or the service who will pay for the tax so we say the customer buy a product or a service from you for, from your company and then you receive money for that that you have sold this money it's really important that you book that in your bookkeeping as an output VAT because this output VAT you will file to the tax agency in the VAT return and then you will pay the output VAT to the tax agency. So the money that you receive from your customer it's only sort of 
walking going through your bank account to the tax agency so you only help your customers paying this tax to the tax agency so remember again neither an input income or an cost for your company this VAT remember this picture the money only travels uh, before uh, travels uh, through your bank account on its way to the tax agency so a consumption tax and it's also this it's only administration for you to be sure to be true uh, so if you buy something from someone you for from a supplier you um, a supplier that sell a product or service to your company then you pay them something for that service or product and in that price there are also included the VAT so you pay money and you need to book in your booking that you have paid this VAT to another company and then we call it an input VAT and this input VAT you need to report to the tax agency because then you will receive that money back so you file in the VAT return that you have paid this money to another company and then the tax agency will say okay that's good then we give that money back to you so in this VAT return you will have the output VAT and then the input VAT and uh, uh, as it works in reality you only pay the difference between that uh, to the tax agency so when do I file the VAT? Well, it depends on what kind of booking period you have registered when you registered for an F tax and to be VAT registered. And there are three different periods that you need to know about. It's the annual, quarter or monthly periods that you uh, file your VAT. And there, I actually have another video explaining more about these kind of different uh, booking periods. So please look at that one. And you also need to know when you do the booking, uh, bookkeeping for the VAT, what kind of booking method you have registered. Because there are two different booking methods and you need to know what, which one you registered when you registered for your F tax because it uh, affects how you will uh, file and how you will uh, register your VAT in the VAT return. So we have the cash method and we also have the invoice method. And I also have another video explaining more about these two methods. So please look at that one as well. So you know, and okay, now, now what? Now I know a little bit more about the VAT here in Sweden. So what do I do now? Well, of course, you can, if you have more questions, you can Google the internet, but you can also, of course, ask for some advice. If you have more questions, please uh, contact me if you want to do that. If you think, oh, I, I can understand her English. I want to speak to her. Well, then you can book a meeting, you can write an email to me at företagshjälpen at havefjall.se and you can also find my information, my contact information at my website www.havefjall.se So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button so I can continue doing these videos for you and uh, also press the thumbs up if you liked it and uh, Leave a note down below here what you would like me to talk about in another video so I know what you are all out there thinking and wondering about. Uh, and uh, until then, I wish you good luck with running your company here in Sweden and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.